Yo, what is up everybody on YouTube and it's your boy Clappy and right now I'm going to be taking you on episode one of the Osu Gaming Bible. So I have a lot of ideas and the first big thing I want to be talking about is how to recover from RSI if you manage to get it in Osu. So first things first, let me go to get on and explain to you what you're going to be needing. So I'm going to be needing you to go over to your nearest e retailer or physical store and pick up a massage gun with as many attachments as possible. So now I know that you guys are thinking that's like $40, but like if you love the game and you know that this is something that you want to be doing for the rest of your life, um, and if you want to recover from RSI as, as swiftly and as smoothly as possible, you will pick up this massage gun and you will listen to everything I say to the T. So let me take you guys to the Osu screen and we'll uh, let me take you guys to Osu on on my tripod and we'll begin the process of explaining how to use the massage gun and we'll but first we're going to be looking at what caused the rsi so stay tuned but i do know that i right, guys so if you're a little bit like me you probably got into osu pretty young i started at around 18 years of age and at the time i was on a brown mechanical keyboard now i have seen peep i have seen uh some amazing players on brown switches but this is i speak for the majority when i when i say this so if you guys were ever on a brown keyboard and you were a wrist tapper and you like to enjoy playing higher BPM speeds, if you did not have a proper technique in which you were pressing the key in a motion like such, where you would use your wrist to tap and you would strain your forearm while doing so, you could have probably caused RSI. I still have it in some mild capacity, but I'm going to be showing you what caused it and how to play what caused RSI. So if you're anything, I'm not going to be playing on 100% serious. I'm not playing on 100, but I'm going to be showing you the, the technique that caused it. I'm going to be showing you the technique that caused my RSI, so that way I can guide thou and how to fix thou as, as appropriately as possible. So if you tap like this. This could have caused it. It's probably gonna be hard for me to do it because I don't have a keyboard with brown switch anymore. But bear with me while I show you the technique that caused my RSI. I'm exaggerating my movements on the hand cam here. And I would really want to show you just a little bit of the stream so that way I can show you that the tensing up and proper and improper um, things can cause this. Okay, so that was my own one and only try I wanted to get you through, but the point still stands. If you tap like this and you tense your forearm a lot while streaming at higher BPMs, especially if you got around to the 240, which was my old speed cap on a non rapid trigger keyboard, you would have seen degradation in your ability to have a good stamina. And, and like others have said, there's a right and correct way to tap. I haven't looked at their videos, but here's what I can recommend you for you uh, upper five digits in there, because I used to be a four digit player myself and I'm looking to get back into that, uh, higher into that higher rank so that way i can start participating in some of the fun stuff some of the fun tournaments so bear with me as we as i take you back to the massage cam and we are going to go clear up some uh some other um misconceptions about uh how to cure rsi as effectively as possible i've seen things like i've seen things like uh medicinal tape but nothing will get the blood flowing and your and your wrist as limp and your fingers as limber as possible to be streaming in the near 300s with proper technique on a wooden keyboard and i took it a step further and got l45 switches so um i could look out and probably get a pack of gatorons just to try it for the for the extra thock and, and shorter bottoming out distance but i'm sure that i wouldn't notice a 0.2 millimeter difference so 
uh let us take let us go back to the massage cam and let me show you the technique that i use to alleviate as much um arm to alleviate as much rsi fatigue as possible or rsi degradation of technique etc i'm not sure what to call it but i do know that i have rsi what's up guys and we're back uh off of the pc now but what i want to show you now is i want to show you my what i have in the stash right here let me get the camera all set up for you and bam this is a 30 a 30 or 40 dollar tautronics massage gun off of new egg actually and and along with a um along with a armband that will also uh get your hand to experience tension and just to have a, just to experience as much finger working out as possible i don't know how to explain it because like you're not really you know doing no vegeta three arm push up three finger push ups or something but if you have a musical instrument recovery recovery band is like what i like to call it and a massage gun let me load you up here and let me show you how i use this to cure my rsi as effectively as possible we'll probably be in the kitchen or no we'll be in the hallway so let's go back deuces so what's up guys we're in the hallway now and i have the hand and i have the musical instrument um rsi recovery bracelet on my hand and this is the one that applies 60 pounds of force to your hand and what you want to do is you want to be having it out like this you feel a little bit like spider-man right and you want to keep your hand in an outstretched position then you want to grab the aforementioned massage gun then you want to turn that on right I usually like putting it on 10, sometimes I spaz out on 10, and sometimes I don't, but what I do is, is I will massage my entire forearm while keeping my hand in an outstretched position, randomly, just doing random things, right? I'll let go of the tension, make a fist as tight as I can, all of this while massaging my forearm muscles and, and muscles on top of my forearm, just like that. And what it really helps do is it helps get the blood moving and you have a much more limber, looser feeling while you're in the, while you're in Osu. Now go back to an outstretched position and then keep your, keep your uh, massage gun like that, deep tissue massaging yourself for as long as you possibly can. So like now while you're doing this, I usually do a session like this every every time before. Well, let me not lie. I want to do this a session like this every time I go to play Osu seriously for like at least let's say three hours. But it, it comes really hard, and I do it and I do things haphazardly. But I'm going to be showing you the results. So remember when I couldn't pass baby metal roll of resistance because uh, I wasn't really trying my hardest. Well, if in combination with this and a little bit of tri art sauce and elbow grease, you too can uh, get a, a much more consistent streaming all the way up to 300 is the fastest I've been tapping. And that was with 10.3. Now, I can't do that all the time and I'm not in the most best position right now to replicate that, but I chose something like baby metal to show you how far I can get and how big the performance differences are if you were to if you were to uh, do this method every time you get on, you would notice that your RSI will clear up. You won't have any more trigger finger snappings happening. And you too can go back to being your index, middle finger, or even ring finger tapper, whichever one you choose. And if you do this for about five or so minutes, I'm not gonna show you like that. You too uh, will get a nice, looser, limber feeling when you go back to playing Osu and I'm gonna be showing you the results on that baby metal, so let me do a little bit more of this off cam and I'll get right back to you guys. P.S. Before we go back to the gaming PC, I wanna just let you guys know there will be links to all of the equipment that I used to perform that little massage therapy session for Osu. It'll be on the description below, so don't worry about that. Okay guys, we're back at the gaming PC and time to show you guys uh, the results of the massage therapy session I did. And with the tension, I'm feeling a lot more looser, a lot more limbal in my hands. And I'm pretty sure that if you do this in conjunction with just having a much better and focusing on your, on focusing on your technique, that plus enhanced stamina, we can be seeing people um, like the majority of the community streaming. 
at the upper 200s, 300 BPM. It's I used to think it was a genetics cap thing, but there's a lot of stuff you can learn to get that stamina up and put yourself in the and right in the horse's mouth to to be streaming at these higher BPMs. But let me not show off here. Let me show you a nice average 205 on baby metal. we compare something if we compare even though i was still streaming badly down on that uh on that right there um if we were to find like a different map but i wanted to keep everything consistent and show you how far i could get with one thing in there now if we combine that in with a proper stamina tapping and if i go on and show you guys a different a uh a different map maybe one that's uh a little bit even less demanding or has a more pronounced drum background or something to be actually streaming to i could give you a better run through of anything else but uh until then that that'll be neither here nor there actually let me give you the bare minimum okay
okay, guys, so that was a much more welcome to play through, even though it was only 180. And if we continue this trend of just playing the stream maps and warming up like that properly before every single Osu session, I'm sure that even I too can find the can find the finger control necessary to stream these lower BPMs up to 240 uh, with a relative ease, maybe 220 with relative ease and 240 with, you know, maybe some extreme practice and play and become a 10.3 DT farm player. So, but until then, that has been Clappy showing you how to successfully recover from RSI. If you, if you can also have a wooting or a keyboard with rapid trigger that also helps alleviate a lot of the stress or at the bare minimum, MX speed switches because you want to have the lowest latency as possible. And I'll be showing you guys on how to be getting, how on how to do things such as farm higher, farm higher, uh, approach rates and how to prepare yourself for that the mental journey so and right now i'm currently 65k and when i when the time is right i strike the iron while it's hot and can see what what type of climber can be expecting you can be expected from the kid so until then this is clappy out deuces